I'm going to take you through how to log into the Mitel 5000 phone system database programming software. Uh, this is using the Mitel system and administration and diagnostics uh, interface. Uh, so as long as you've got this installed on your PC, um, you should be able to connect to the phone system for programming, subject to having a username and password for the phone system. If you do not have this software, please contact your maintainer, uh, your appointed Mitel reseller. Um, alternatively, if you do not have one, contact Denwa and we should be able to help you. So the first thing you do once you've got the software installed is run it and you should be presented with this screen the first time you, you enter it. And where it says system connection at the top left hand side, if we just uh, click in there and click uh, quick connect. And if I just type in the IP address of the phone system, which Mitel 5000 naturally wants to sit on your network, uh, Therefore, if you don't know the IP address of the phone system, uh, please go to the front of the phone system, navigate your way through the menu, and it should tell you there. Alternatively, contact your IT or internal administrator of the phone system. The next thing you're going to need to know is the username and the password. By default, the username is admin, and by default, the password is support. However, this should be changed and normally is changed uh, due to security. Next, we're going to tick launch DB programming. DB standing for database. Uh, this is going to let you access the phone system and make your changes that are, that are required. So we're going to click connect. Now, as long as your phone system is on the same network as the PC trying to access this, this should work. Uh, if you have multiple versions of this software installed, it will give you multiple options. So you must know the version of your Mitel phone system currently. So I'm just going to select my version and then click OK. And now the software is going to communicate across the network to the IP address of the phone system that we've entered. It takes a couple of seconds uh, just to load as it is pulling quite a bit of information from the phone system down to your local PC. You can use this software remotely if you're on a remote site. Uh, there are certain firewall ports that can be opened if necessary. Um, you should consider talking to uh, your Mitel reseller and we can give you this information. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you should be able to access your My Telephone system remotely uh, or internally on the network. So it looks like the software is just loaded. It took a less than a minute. Uh, there's a slight pause and then the software appears and it's just appeared behind the screen there. So if we just uh, minimize the screen behind it for a second. Uh, now, this is your Mitel 5000 phone system interface. Uh, for programming and it's a Microsoft Explorer type style uh, layout so down the left hand side we've got uh, the, the little plus signs that we can expand and go into the menu uh, there's lots and lots of things in here so we do encourage training on this product otherwise you could potentially do some some damage to the actual phone system programming uh, so that's the end of the demonstration of Mitel 5000 phone system programming. If you do need more information or require training or support on this product, please contact Demois.